In this lesson, we'll cover in-place families. So you may say, well, what is an in-place family? An in-place family is a specific type of family that resides completely in the model. The difference is when you use a tool for modeling this family in place, you select a category for whatever this family is that you're creating and actually build it right in the actual model. So when you do this, the ribbon actually changes it allows you to create this family and the components of the family right in your model. It's important because in many cases, you may need to actually create this or lay this out in the model so you can build it on site or in the model versus placing it and moving it and adjusting it after the fact. So how do we go about doing this? Let's go to the structure tab. Now, once you're on the structure tab, you can place system family elements such as floors or walls you can also place components that could belong to a system or maybe not, such as a column or a beam. But what if you wanted to model something in place? I wanted to build an in-place family, something custom. For example, a custom column. I'm going to zoom in, first of all, so I can see this a little better. Just any area, it doesn't matter where. Now, I want to build a custom column because maybe it doesn't exist, and I don't want to modify an existing column component. So how do I go about it? you actually model a column in place, hence the in-place family. To do that, in the model area, click the component dropdown, then choose model in place. This is actually the in-place family editor, allowing us to build a new family in place in the model while you see the model. First thing is on the filter on the top, since we're using Revit structure, you can deselect the other elements or filters for the other categories. So we're only looking at structural categories. With that filtered, I'm going to choose structural column. So we're basically making a new structural column family, and we're modeling it in place in the model. With that selected, click OK. Now it's going to ask you to give a name to this new structural column family. I'm going to accept the default for this exercise, structural columns 1, but you could name it whatever you choose. Click OK. Doing so will change the ribbon. And really right now, you're in the family editor part of the ribbon where you can build this actual element of what you want to create the family for. Now, we could start to build this in 3D using our various forms, extrusions, blends, revolves, for example. And you can also draw lines, just something 2D for sketching. Now, building family components and content is another lesson. And we're not going to go into it that in depth for this lesson, but at least we'll draw a few things. So let's say we wanted to draw a basic outline or a square shape of a column just for this example. In the model area, click Model Line. The editor will now change to all of your sketch tools. In the draw area, I'll choose Rectangle. And for this purpose, we don't really need to pay attention to the dimensions. Just simply click a point, drag your mouse to draw a rectangle. You can make it square if you want, but more of the purposes of the actual in-place modeling. Lastly, after we've finished the actual sketch, I can click Finish Model. This will then create the actual in-place element, creating a new family that we'll see in the project browser and also within my Revit model. If I click on this element, I'll actually see the properties on the left, and you can edit the type to view this element and the properties that are currently set. I can assign various values if I want to, and continue to modify this, or I can click Edit in Place, which will allow you to edit this back into the editing mode of making modifications to the actual model. For example, this is just a 2D sketch. I could add height by drawing a cube or a box. For this example, though, let's just go ahead and click Cancel Model and click in the background to deselect. So as a review, in this lesson, we talked about in place families. We talked about what are in place families. Well, in-place families are a special type of family that resides completely in the model, but you actually build it in place in the model. And you do that because you may need to adjust this or make a custom shape or a size. When you create this, you actually use the model in place technique. You assign it a category, and then you build the model according to what you want the design to be.